Alrighty, Hosses, so check it out. So in the last video, what we did is we created this little playlist component. So from here, what we need to do is we actually need to take this and add it to our main app component. So why do we have to do this? Well, remember, whenever our Angular application first boots up, the only component that it knows about is our root component. So that's why over in our root component, what we need to do is we need to actually import any other components that we're going to be working with. That way, Angular knows that they exist. So we're going to need to import this playlist component. And also, since later on we're going to be adding videos to it, I'm just going to import this videos class right now. So import video from video and also import what do I name this class playlist component from playlist dot component all right so now we have those files imported and actually what I'm going to do right now is actually just take this HTML and separate it away like we did in the playlist component so I don't need to copy that not that lazy all right so I'm going to make a new file called app dot component now right now this is named TypeScript so we're just going to name this one HTML and remember anytime we're using a separate HTML file we need to include template dot URL and actually let me actually just take this and plop it right in there and that's another thing you can actually bind and you don't have to change anything you don't have to like write the file path or anything else you can actually just bind your variables right in those templates so let me copy this and then let me paste it right there and of course this is your app component and looking good so the one other thing that you need to do is whenever you include other components you actually need to set up your directives so a directive is just your way of telling Angular that hey we're going to make some new custom HTML. In other words, we made this component. So you're going to see a tag called playlist, just like this. Don't type this in. So we're eventually going to have a tag like that. So whenever you come across it, don't freak out because it's just some custom HTML that we created. So in order to declare that, you write directives. And then you actually stick that in between square braces just like this so now everything is set up beautifully what we can do now is we can actually just start making a list of videos so in your app component class I am just going to name this videos name it whatever you want favorite videos my videos whatever and it's going to be an array now the type of this is going to be video boom roasted so I actually want to set this up later. So in our constructor, what we can do is we can actually just start adding videos to this. And let me give myself a little bit more space. I like to be able to scroll all around. All right. So I'll just say this videos, my list of videos, I'll just put two in there by default. So whenever our program first boots up, we'll have like two or three videos. And then later on, I'm gonna show you guys how to add them manually through some other awesome techniques. But for right now, I'll just make a list of videos. So whenever we wanna create a new video object, we'll just write new video and then whatever information. So new video. And again, we're gonna be filling all of these IDs in um, dynamically through our program, but for right now, since we're just creating these by hand, we'll just assign them manually. So my first video, I have a couple lined up right here. I'll just write installing Django. And what is the video code of this? And what description can I give it? Uh, how to install Django. If you guys don't know Django, then I would recommend it. It's pretty sweet. And now for another one. All right, uh, it's from the wilderness. It's 
subscribe in the wilderness. This is the video code, and I'll say uh, Bucky uh, goes hiking. Whatevs. All right, so just find any two random uh, YouTube videos, and there you go. Everything looks good. So now we have a list of videos, but check this out. In our app component.html, we didn't even include that playlist anywhere. So remember, just like including normal HTML tags, whether it's a heading, a paragraph, whatever, since we declared this selector right here, we can now include it using the playlist keyword. So what this is going to do is it's going to include this component inside this component. Pretty awesome, eh? So now go back in your main page and check it out. So this is actually our playlist component. Again, we didn't actually put a playlist in there yet, obviously, but this is how we can see that everything is working beautifully. So this overall thing is our app component and it's composed of this heading with a playlist underneath. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is not only how you make smaller components, but how you can combine them and put them together into bigger components. So in the next video, we have to figure out a way to get this list of videos and we need to figure out how to pass it to this component so we can actually display this list. So it's going to be pretty fun. I'll see you guys next time.